Okay, I just got my uh, Reveal uh, Auto Trader, Auto Transport Trailer. And uh, from everything that I've seen, this is a really good kit. I'm going to use it to go behind my Peterbilt, Reveal Peterbilt 116th scale. Or excuse me, yeah, 124th scale. And uh, anyway, so what's completed... I'm gonna probably, uh, I got several NASCAR kits and some other uh, 124th scale kits that I'm gonna be putting on this uh, transport trailer, okay? It comes with uh, a lot of, comes with the tires, the wheels, and all the parts are in this one bag. It comes with some string that can simulate hoses, the hydraulic hoses to all the cylinders. And in the package also, it's got uh, these little tiny chains to, uh, to simulate uh, tying down the vehicles that it's hauling. So anyway, and then it's got, uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to paint it or not. Some parts I may paint and some I might not. Uh, I got to decide that once I open it up and take a look at it. Um, it's really a nice color the way it is. I know painting it, you could weather it and make it look uh, a lot of different ways and uh, stuff like that. Make it look used. It's like it's done hauled a bunch of cars and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that's the look I'm going to go for or not. So anyway, I'm going to get started on it soon, but I'm going to look it all over for a little while first and then look in the instruction manual. Reveal always has a really nice instruction manual. You know? Twenty goes right here. Yep. Cut this off a little bit. Okay, and that's all the pieces that go across except for this one. Okay, <laughs> like this. Yep. Some of this is the directions on this one ain't uh, as good as I like for them to be. Why is it not fitting? Good. Okay. Uh, on my car hauler trailer, I got the chassis put together. Uh, 
so I can just start adding pieces to it. Uh, this is the bottom. This is where the wheels are going to attach and everything else is going to attach here. So anyway, that part's done. So I'm going to be moving on to start putting the ramps and different pieces like that on it. Okay, I got most of the bottom built up. Uh, got the spare tires in. Got all the places for the cars to sit attached. The bottom is pretty well complete except for putting the axles in and the wheels, but I'm gonna do that later. So now comes the building of the sides and the rest of it. Okay, I got the uprights on, on the side pieces. So I'm gonna start building up the top part now. Okay, my car hauler trailer is pretty well done, except for paint. And that'll be the next step. So it'll be going to the paint shop. I didn't cement these in place so they can be raised up so it'd be easy access getting the cars in and out. And that's it. See you when I get it painted. Okay, I got it hung up. Getting it ready to paint. I've already put the primer coat on it. And so Hopefully, I can paint it without getting any paint on the tires. I did take them up. That's the only thing I didn't think of whenever I was building it. Maybe I should have painted part of it before I put the tires on it, but it's okay. I think I'll be fine. Okay, the trailer is pretty much done, all except for putting the hydraulic hoses on. But I couldn't resist uh, seeing what it looked like with some cars loaded on it. So I used a classic auto decal because it does have classic cars on here, which is Darrell Waltrips in his 84 uh, Monte Carlo and uh, Regal, and then Dale Earnhardt Sr. in his 1984 Monte Carlo and a, a 56 Chevy, I think it is. So anyway, I wanted to see what it looked like and I got it hooked to my Peterbilt. So I just wanted to see what it looks like before I finished it up. I think it looks reasonably well. I got the decals on it, got the lights painted. And now all I do is just put the hydraulic hoses on it and a little touch up here and there and it'll be done. Well, the Reveal Auto Transport trailer is complete now. All the hydraulic hoses have been attached, all the decals. I, I didn't put the chains on everywhere. I just hung the chain here like this. And so, and it's like behind my Reveal uh, Peterbilt. I think it turned out reasonably well. Thanks for watching.